Good morning, son. Good morning, dad. How are you? I am fine, son. I am so excited about this school. Yeah, I know. That's normal to be excited for something new in your life. Yeah, you are right. So, how do you get to school today? I will just take the bus. That's no issue. That's great. Have a good day. See you. Hello, Dad. I am back home. Hey, son. Welcome. How was the first day of school? Ah, oh, Dad. It was so dramatic today. You cannot believe what has happened in this school today. It was all ridiculous and dramatic. Really? Like what? We had a fight during one of our classes. Oh no, a fight? In the class? Come on, tell me why it happened. Okay then, let me tell you from the first. It was the fourth class when we had language class. There were two boys who were not treating each other from the very first moment, which was so weird for me. Well, son, I told you already. That's why it is exciting and weird feeling when it is the first day of the school. I see. Continue about the fight in your class, son. Oh, okay. So, as we were in the class busy listening to the teacher, suddenly we heard a loud noise. I was sitting in the second line, so I turned my head and saw two boys holding each other and beating each other. Beating each other? Come on, I thought that they only had argument. Did it really reach physically? Yes, Dad. It was tough, indeed. Thankfully, it did not take long. The teacher managed to separate them with the help of other students. What was the reason behind their fight, son? Well, as far as I understood from the other students, they have a problem with each other over a girl. A girl? Really? You must be joking, who fights over a girl. Well, apparently some people fights over a girl. You never know. Hmm. Interesting. So what happened after? Well, Dad, the teacher got so much angry and sent both of them to the office of the manager. The teacher was so pissed off that he could not carry the class till the end. He excused himself and went to the manager's office personally. I think I can understand them. Anyway, tell me more about your school. Any other drama was made? Thankfully, no. It was all good. I really like the uniform. It is so stylish and fit, unlike other school's baggy uniform, which always disgusted me. Oh, really? What is it like? It is light blue t-shirt and gray pant, and guess what, we don't have to put on any ties. This is perfect, amazing color selection as well. That's nice then. You know that this school is longer than the previous one. What do you mean? I mean it takes longer to ring the final bell and let us go home, because it has nine class in total. 
this one bothered me and will bother too, I guess. Well, there is nothing wrong with studying more and spending time for good. Yeah, Dad, that's right. I did not say it is bad, but I think that is too much, isn't it? Mm, no, son, it is not. Yeah, maybe it is longer, but definitely not bad. Ah, uh, okay. Listen this. This school is way high facilitated in different aspects, especially sports, that... Oh, really? Yeah, that. It has two big football playgrounds, two for basketball and a big arena for swimming, a gymnasium and other things which I already forgot. Wow, then most of their students must be athletes. Well, not all of them, but most of them. A big school like that, when building all those facilities, obviously cares and focuses on athleticism generally. Well, of course, they must focus. They charge their students so much. Tell me about your teacher and the stuff there. Well, that it, it was just the first day that I've been there, and I have no idea about them. But at least I got to know to our mathematics teacher well, thanks to the guys fighting. What about the campus and the infrastructure? Oh yeah. The building is quite cool and I'm really impressed by its architecture and the way it is designed. It is so big and wide with numerous classes, corridors, halls and more. Is it true that it has a campus for abroad students? Yeah. At the first I thought it could be wrong but no. I saw the building even though I did not check in, but it was looking good from outside. Then this is good. This school can be a good option for your cousin. Hmm, really? You want to go abroad for education? I think yes. Anyway, Dad, I want a bicycle as a transportation for this is cool. I'm tired of those lenty yellow buses, honestly. Mm, why? I am tired of it, and beside that, I want to have my own choice. I can go lots of other places with my bicycle as well. Okay, boy, as you say, go and get yourself a good looking bicycle. Thank you, Dad. There is something else, too. Today, when the school was finished, I was called up by the manager, and he told me that there is a missing documentation in my profile, and wanted you to come to school. Hmm, what is missing? I think I got all the documentations and paperwork needed to the office. Maybe you forgot something. Maybe. That's okay. It happens sometimes. Yeah, don't worry about it. I will figure it out. Follow up your lessons, son. I expect you a lot this year, because it is your final year. Yeah, I know that too, Dad. I try my best to nail up the most of the classes and attend all of them. Did you select any field for university for next year? I mean, do you have any interests? Yes, Dad, 
Of course. Although I wanted to talk to you about it, but you asked me early. That I like working with computer and I like technology a lot. Hmm, I guess so. Now, what have you picked for your major? Computer science, I think. Yeah, computer science. That's a great choice, I think. Yes, it is, Dad. You know that we live in a digital world, so computer will always be trending. It's smart. Yeah, and luckily I am so keen on computer softwares, and as an hobby, I learned lots of things in previous years. I am so attached to it. That's amazing then. Although I have not lots of information about computer and stuff, but keep it up, son. Thanks, Dad. I'm trying. Have you targeted any particular university for computer science yet? Mm, honestly, no, Dad. I'm searching for it, and I'm being picky about it. So, I need to research a lot, and go over to lots of universities. Okay, search some, and find a good one, but don't kill your time. Yeah, right, Dad, I know. It will definitely take time, but I am sure that I will find a good option. Plus, I am seeking for a scholarship. That's why I want to do research on widespread universities. That's really a good thing, son. Yeah, it is. And I really mean it. I will try my best to nail at this school and get the best results to be eligible for scholarship. There are lots of pros and benefits if I get a scholarship. Yeah, right. So, for getting a good result, I have planned something and brought changes in my daily routines. They are different compared to last year. Oh, really? Like what? Like, I am pausing my dance club subscription and probably cancel my part-time job as well. Really? Yeah, that. I am pretty serious about the university and scholarship. Mmm, I can sense it. Yeah, I have saved some money from the last year, and it will help me with something this year. Hey boy, do not worry about the money. I will figure it out. Just focus on your studies. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, son. By the way, I have a meeting with some of my old classmates this evening, and I should get ready. Oh, okay. That's alright. Yep. Before that, I'm going out to the market for shopping. Do you need anything? No, thank you, son. Okay, and I will be back home around 11 p.m. Probably. Wanted to let you know. That's fine. Have a good time and be safe. Goodbye. Goodbye.